Right, right. Bear's chasing him. Yeah! Damn good! While cleaning up this rat infestation, let's keep score and see who catches the most rats. The following stats are comparing dogs to dogs and mink compared to other mink. Bear is an extra large male mink. Ita is an average sized female mink. Mila is a Jack Russell mix. Boss is a 1 quarter pit bull, 3 8 whippet, 3 8 greyhound. Chasing him. Yeah, he's chasing oh, her at. Bear, get it! Oh, good, he's killing him above ground. Good job. <laughs> yeah, he, he chased it down. It was awesome. So keep job, puffing right? away. It's just, it's moving a whole bunch of them. Good job, boss. Good job, boss. Come over here. Over here. Boss, come over here. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. No, I'm kidding. We need a cash box for Bear. He wants to cash it. Good job, Nina. Good job. Good. Yeah, I got my GoPro. Yeah, I don't trust GoPros at all. I mean, whatever they get, it's crap. Nah, this one's good. Oh, he got it. Yeah, he got it. Right in the top. Oh, there he is. Oh, there was one I just saw. Oh, there he is. Oh, he got it. Oh, there was one I just saw. Oh, there he is. Oh, he got it. <laughs> that was an awesome catch. Joe, you scared him right into bear. Grab it. Using mink and dogs to control pests like rats is by far the most natural and environmentally friendly pest control method possible. Using traps or shooting almost never successfully controls rat populations. Using poison leaves rats to die after many hours of suffering, as well as being very harmful to the environment. In comparison, mink and dogs quickly and safely remove rats the way nature intended. How it all works is, the mink squeezes down into the rat's hiding places, and the dogs catch the rats who leave their dens in an attempt to escape the mink. Good boy, boss. Hey boss, get back here! Oh, good girl, Nina! Boss! Let's stay right here. Stay, stay, stay. You got one. Bear's got one. Yeah. Good job, Bear. Right, right, right! Good boy, boss! Yeah, boss! Good boy! Good boy. Good boy. Yeah! Damn good! Get out! Yeah, good dog! Boss, boss! You! Here, here, here! Another run another run and scatter it! Good girl! Boss, come here! Boss, come here! Boss, come here! Boss! Boss. Try, right, right! Good job, boss! Oh my gosh, it's working way better than I thought! Come look at this. Come with us. Did you put a nice shot or? Cash box. Where's the cash box? You got the cash box? Oh, here it is. It's covered with plastic. Did he kill that one? Hey, keep oh, he's got another one. Right, right there, right there. He's yeah. got another one. Oh, he's looking at it. Try it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, get it, bear. <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. in there and pop them more. They must have a hole that they're going into there <clears throat> from. Cause they're be careful with this hose. If we don't keep it too straight, it'll bend. Good boy. Good boy. Are you having a good angle? You might want to come over closer, David. Maybe stand right in this cage. Good boy, boss. Oh, there's one. There's a big one right here. Here, here, here. here. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. No, boss got it. Good job, Good boss. Job. Oh, he just yeah. he just crunched its skull. Good boy. Oh, boss got one. 
Boss got another one? Yeah. Good job, boss. Good boy. Good boy. Kill it dead. Oh, he's got one. Bear's got another one. Nice. Neil's got one. Get it, Neil. Dang, I went under the pallet. Underneath the pallet somewhere. They keep diving underneath there. We got a fix for that problem. Well, let it clear out a little bit. Now we want his tail. Oh, you got one. Good job. Is that Brock? That's bear. Oh, bear. Oh my gosh, look at all that blood. Does the bear have it? The bear's got the other end. Uh, you should, Joe, you should get the mink, move the mink over here. I'm gonna put him. He's he's right here, the rat. Yeah, I'm gonna put his sister under. No, he's like right in my face. He's like almost to the camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need that. We have three rats move over here. See, so take it. She got it. Ida got it. Yeah, the one you just put down. Good girl. Cash in their spot. Oh, they're they're fighting with it. They're fighting over the same rat. Look, <laughs> they're fighting over the same rat. I was like, what's going on here? Okay, let's get all the wolf mink. Unlike ferrets who prefer to be grasped around the body, okay. mink often yeah, panic when picked up that way and feel more comfortable being picked up by their tail instead. So this is Mamba. Old bear massacred bunch of rats, and a few of them we can't quite reach. So we're going to see if Mambo will uh, clean up after her brother and go pick up those rats. So this little string on her is just to kind of help remind her of what she's supposed to do. She knows what she's supposed to do, but sometimes she gets a little confused or excited. So just there as a reminder. So let's go see how many rats we got. I think there's at least three or four that we can't reach. And we've gotten a bunch of them out, but some we just couldn't reach far enough in to get. So let's go see what we can get out. All right, you got a cash in box. And the idea is that she brings back whatever she finds, puts it in this little box here. This is like her little home, home away from home. And she knows that, so the idea is she brings it back to her home. I'm pretty sure there's a rat or two right under here. And you may wonder what the point is of us <clears throat> getting the rats back and I don't like things to go to waste, so when we kill the rats, if we're in a place that's like this, it's clean and safe, there's no chance of poison, we uh, try and get them back and we either feed them to the mink or we sell them as snake food. So, let's see if we can get a few of them out of here. Come on, There you go, good girl. Good girl. Good mink. Good mink. Sorry, let me get you a bigger piece than that. That was a good job. Good job. Good mink. There's a good girl, yeah. I'll go put it in your box if you want it that bad. I'll just leave it out in the open. So in nature, mink when they kill stuff, a lot of times they'll get in a situation where hunting's good and they'll kill more than just one or two animals. That's why when we're out here doing this, they don't just stop after the first kill. It's natural for them to keep going if there's more to hunt that's easy to catch. So what we do is we, we teach them that they should bring back their extra kills to the box and she'll get a reward for it. So we're essentially using their natural instincts to accomplish a goal. So let's go get those other rats.
girl. Good girl, Mamba. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Mamba. Can you go get a couple more? There's a couple more down there. Go get them. Go get them, Mamba. Good girl. Good mamba. Good girl, mamba. Good girl, mamba. Good job. That one, was that three or four rats? I think it's three, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. She cashed her one right after another. She cashed three. Okay, eat that. She liked that hole. Good job. Good boy. Oh, she's got a rat right there. Boss, look, watch, boss. Eva. Oh, yeah, she's got it. I wonder if it's a she's nest. She's got it right there. She's got it. Can you see it? The gray? I can see it right here. I'm trying to get away from her. It's a big old. Yeah, it's a big old freaking rat. Seems like one of the boss ones coming. Oh, I think it's all bigger than that. Good job. <laughs> good job. Gotta dig the, the mink out. It's a good way to get bit by the way, guys. Did they get away? No, she's got it. And it's right there. I don't know if it's dead yet or not. Is it dead? Yeah, I can see it's part of its tail. Yeah, I saw its tail too. Yeah. Holy cow! That one might be more than 400 grams. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Good boy! Good boy! Get the other one! Good job, boss. Did I don't get away? Good boy. Where's your dog? Out. Good boy. You really miss it. Go inside there. Good boy. Go around the other Where's side. Your dog? Out. You got him. Good boy. I just want to show you a little the way we set up our, our transportation for the mink. So we got them in these little, these are actually where uh, fur farms, what the mink, they keep the mink in permanently. Back at home, my mink are kept in much larger and more spacious enclosures. They get all kinds of enrichment, like branches to climb on and pools to swim in. And this is just our little transportation method for transporting a whole bunch of mink at once. Alrighty, so we had a great day today. The mink did great. I was really impressed with Bear. Man, he he was putting a herd on them. Little Shirney and Penny, they just stayed in the truck, but they got to come out and play a little bit in between. So all in all, pretty good day and uh appreciate you guys watching we'll show you guys more hi guys hope you enjoyed the video youtube has been tightening down on their censorship i in fact just barely got a strike for a video that i thought was totally fine but nope they gave me a strike took it down and you guys are never going to see it so what happens to that and many other videos that i already know are going to get a strike so i don't even try and put up on youtube well they go on my mink man's exclusive club this club allows me to show videos that I never could show on YouTube. So if you guys feel like you're missing out seeing these little clips, well, you really are. I'll post whatever I can here on YouTube, but the rest is going to be going to my exclusive club. So just click on the link in the description below and find out what you're missing.